What is up, everybody? What's going on, man? Just left the barbershop. Had to, man, had to run back. Uh, didn't deep dive into this late like I wanted to, but it is what it is. The main objective here is, you know, take what you like, leave what you don't. I got a bunch of strong leans, and I probably got a one or two officials. But like I said, take what you like, leave what you don't. Okay. Um, yesterday, not the greatest of days. I did post uh all, all those batters that I named yesterday in the video. Uh, I went eleven for nine. Uh, no, nine for eleven. Uh, I posted it. I believe I posted it here. I know I posted it on TikTok, Facebook. I think I got it on YouTube. Whatever the case may be, but it is what it is. All right. So uh, the batters were on point yesterday. Uh. Yeah, so uh, at the end of the day, let's get right to it. Straight bets, man. Straight bets. I can't tell you enough, man. You keep looking at those parlays, and those parlays just boom, boom, MLB. You know what I'm saying? You got to find a way. Or low, low odds, like same game parlays and stuff like that, man. You know, low odds, man. You know, just win the day. Win the bet. Win the bet. You know what I'm saying? got to win some money, all right? Uh. Let's just go right through uh, what I like. So, because it's late and uh, I think I don't, I don't have a chance to go through the slate. Uh, so, let's see what I got here in my notes here. And some things in my notes, like a lot of bats, I didn't get a chance to write them down. And uh, maybe I'll write them down and put it in the uh, community section here on YouTube, put it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, or whatever, TikTok. Uh, but yeah, um, let's get right into it. Um, what did I have here? Um, let's see. Okay. Um, man, that damn, all right, we'll get to it. <laughs> we'll get to it. Uh, I'm about to start cussing that game out. All right. So listen here. Uh, Miami Marlins at uh, New York Mets, man. We got over under seven and a half in this one here, man. New York Mets just fell to the Miami Milwaukee Brewers, man. Um, I really need New York Mets to show me something, man. I think this is a spot for them, but I I'm just going to stay off this game. I'm just going to stay off this game. I'm just going to. You know, I'm just waiting on the Mets to pop off, all right? I haven't given you guys a lot of Mets, you know, picks or whatever the case may be, but I'm going to stay off of this game. I couldn't talk you off of anything. You know, it is what it is, all right? So we're in the clear for that game. Um, but you know what, though? Uh, a bat that I was looking at here was um, probably going to be, um, excuse me, Olsen. So first of all, uh, make sure you got a lineup page at least. Uh, so you can check the confirmed lineups and stuff like that, especially for FanDuel because uh, if you're taking hit props and those guys are not in the um, in a lineup, then you know it's it could be one. All right, so right here looking at um, looking at. Uh, Right off the bat, I'm looking at, uh, of course, uh, Arreyes, a uh, hit machine, and uh, Peter Alonzo. Couldn't talk you off of Peter Alonzo. Uh, he could be, you know, he could be in line for a home run today, okay? So those are two bats that I really, really like. I give a lean towards the Mets bats in this one. That's why I, if I had to pick a winner in this one, it would be the uh, Mets here. But, you know, Meg, uh, Tyler M McGill uh, got his ass tore up his la in, in, in his start uh, last week or whatever the case may be. Uh, I just need the bets to show me something. He went five innings, six hits, seven strikeouts. Uh, but, you know, uh, two earned runs, so he didn't get tore up that bad. But, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I give the I give the lean towards the New York Mets, but I'm not betting this game. Okay, Texas Rangers at Chicago Bulls here. Uh, Evaldi and Strom. I mean, Chicago Cubs, man. You know, Evaldi and uh, – Strowman on the mound. We got six and a half over under in this spot. Uh, what is the weather looking like? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, uh, projection of the Chicago Cubs projected to put up 3.4 runs. 3.1 for Texas. Uh, little chilly. Sunny and a little chilly. You know, uh, Cubs lineup is out right now. Um, you know, I was looking at, I was looking at Hap and Mancini. But, you know, I didn't really get a chance to deep dive into this, into the batters. At the end of the day, this total is pretty low here. If you ask me, um, I I can't, I don't know, man. I'm undecided. 
I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't take the under. I probably wouldn't take the. I, it's just a fade, man. I think maybe, maybe, the, maybe, maybe they might go over. That's the look that I had in this in here. A teensy winty small lean towards the over, but nothing, nothing, nothing official here. All right. Um, New York Yankees at Baltimore Orioles. Um, eight and a half over under in this spot. We got Schmidt on the mound. We got Kramer on the mound. Um, I like these Orioles bats. You know, it's a lot of bats. It's a few bats that's popping up for me in this spot here. Um. And then you know this Yankees, they have a, a a a strong offense here. Um, you know, if the Yankees come out, you know, of course they're coming out trying to hit home runs and yada yada yada. But uh man, you know, they've shown the ability to miss some bats, okay? And you can get Kramer strikeout prop for four. Uh, you could tease it down. If he miss a few of those bats, it's a possibility that, you know, he could get to that four or five strikeouts, man. So I couldn't talk you off of that. Um Sometimes you have to go for the value, you know what I'm saying. And uh, and I know the New York Mets, uh, they're a real public team. Uh, this number is fishy at minus one thirty. Uh, you know, I I I couldn't talk you off neither side in this one. Uh, probably the over will probably be something that I'm very very interested in, and uh, I, uh, that's probably going to be my look. So uh, not official play though. It's just a lean right now. I'm going to lean towards the over. I expect runs to be put up in this one, okay? Uh, what did I have in my bed slip? Okay. All right. All right, so uh, Cincinnati Reds at uh, uh, Philadelphia Phillies here. We got an over under seven in the spot. Now, I can see instances where this game can go under, all right? That's one thing. Y'all see the thumbnail green? That's my guy, all right? So, y'all already know. It's not an official play, but I did take the seven and a half strikeouts for uh, Hunter Green, okay? I did. But it's not an official play. If you like it, take it, all right? I took the seven and a half strikeouts. Uh, you know, it is what it is. I do lean towards Philadelphia winning this game. But, you know, it is, I mean... I got it. At, I, and then this, this, this seven and a half strikeouts, I got it at like plus one Oh one. All right. So it's steady moving, steady moving. Here's a guy who can't strike your ass out. If he doesn't have his stuff, you can look to, if you, or if you think he's going to get shelled, uh, you could look to probably my top candidate would probably be a uh, Schwarber for a home run. And cause Hunter green will give up the long ball. Um, and then you got w w Wheeler on the other side. He has good stuff as well. Um, so, but like I said, in the end of the day, when the bullpens come in and shit like that, you know, if this game does stay tight, I do think, uh, Philadelphia probably can find a way to pull it out. So I'm gonna lean towards Philadelphia and then the first five, I'm gonna lean under the first five, I'm gonna lean under. Okay. So I did do a same game parlay for this one here. I think I had seven strikeouts, six strikeouts for Wheeler, uh, seven strikeouts for, uh, Hunter Green. And I did uh, uh, a first half uh, alternate alternate under, okay? I did a first half alternate under, maybe six and a half runs. Okay, yeah, six and a half runs. I mean, just a builder, you know what I'm saying? Just a builder and, you know, uh, you know, just... You know, just something to sprinkle on. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it is what it is. All right? So, that's that's one way that I looked right there. All right? Kind of, you know, a little correlation going on. Not just shit just all over the place. All right? If I'm taking anybody for a home run, it would probably be Schwarber. If he don't hit a home run, he probably going to strike out three or four times. Okay? So, that's somebody, <laughs> you know, it just is what it is. Okay? So. um, Seattle Mariners at uh Cleveland Gardens here, okay? Seven and a half over under in this spot. We got Gilbert on the mound, Savali on the mound, and uh, you know, Seattle is probably one of the back buy on teams for me this year. Cleveland has been a buy on team for me this year. These are teams that I've had, you know, I I'm 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 closely monitoring and trying to find value on these guys. Uh, so these are two teams that I really, 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 you know, I, I fuck with. Now, uh if you you know, I couldn't talk about neither one of these teams here. Uh, but you know, at a minus one thirty two and uh for the Cleveland Guardians and uh you're getting plus money to back 
to back uh, Seattle Manners. Um, if I'm betting this game, it's going to be Seattle Mariners or nothing for me in this spot. Uh, Houston Astros at Minnesota Twins. We got an over under seven and a half over under in this spot. Yurkity on the mound. Uh, Gray on the mound. Gray disappointed me last time for the strikeout. So that's one thing. Um, don't know when this uh, Houston Astros team is going to, you know, uh, pop off like they like we know they can. They, uh, Altuve is probably hurting them right now. Whatever the case may be with that, um, you know. Houston Astros been giving up runs. You know, they couldn't, you know, they've been giving up runs since to Detroit and stuff like that. Um, it's a possibility that this game could probably go over. If I'm looking to bet something in this game, it might be the over. It might be the over. I do expect, you know, these bats to, 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 you know, uh, if, if gray, if gray comes out swinging, it probably won't go over, but you know, um, I'll lean towards the over in this one here. This is one that I don't even have on my bet, bet slip, but I was thinking about it today. So uh, it's definitely uh, look like it's gonna lean, uh, uh, looking like a lean, a small lean. A lean is I'm just leaning that way. It's not official. Chicago White Sox at Pittsburgh Pirates here. We got an over under eight and a half in this spot. Uh, Chicago White Sox minus one thirty six favorites. I'm gonna stand behind Giolito in this one here, but I'm gonna only do it in the first five. So I don't want to, uh, you know, the, nobody. Uh, I don't want to uh, nobody, uh, you know, the bullpens getting in there fucking shit up. So I'm a back Giolito on the first five at a minus 134. So uh, that's what I'm looking at right there, okay? Rich Hill, you know, the Chicago White Sox are, you know, supposed to be good versus lefties. Uh, I'm going to give the ass the benefit of the doubt one more time, all right? They got their heads bashed in last game against uh, San Francisco Giants. Kansas City Royals, speaking of the Giants, we got Kansas City Royals at San Francisco Giants over under eight in the spot. Um, it's going to be San Francisco Giants or nothing for me in this spot. Money line parlays, run line straights, okay? Same thing here. Oakland Athletics, uh, Tampa Bay Rays, money line parlays, uh, run line straights for the Tampa Bay Rays for me. Uh, Zach Eflin on the mound. Ken Waldachuk on the mound. Um, favorite bat here is going to be Yandy Diaz, okay? Yandy Diaz, I don't know if the lines are out right now, but, uh, Definitely, uh, Yandy Diaz. Oh, and um, this Baltimore Orioles here. Um, <clears throat> first five, I'm looking at the first five team total over one and a half. I'm one and one on this uh, on the season already. Uh, they they uh, so I'm looking at the uh, uh, team total for uh, team total uh, first five run. Um, let me see. Baltimore Orioles first three, first seven, first three, first seven. Over one and a half minus 145, okay? Uh, team total. That means they need to score five runs. I mean, two runs in the first five innings, okay? So I'm looking at that as well. Um, Like I said, uh, money line parlays, run line straights for the uh, Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, and um, I, it's a lot. Randy is arena. You know, you can take these bats, you can, especially these righties against Waldy Chuck. Okay. Um, Yandy Diaz, uh, Rose arena. I like Diaz, but it is what it is. San Diego Padres at Atlanta Braves here. We got an over under of nine and a half in this spot. I do think runs will be put up in this one. Uh, Atlanta Braves minus what? Three, six favorites here. What I went out and did is I took the, um, I take the, uh, Atlanta Braves, uh, first half, uh, minus a half, or you can you can go to result, or, or 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 if you like this bet, you can go to result. First half money line is sitting at minus one twenty two. Uh, result, you get a plus one hundred five run line. Same thing. Uh, well, should have just took the run line to get a five more cent on that, but it is what it is. Okay, so uh. I t end up taking the result. I should have looked at that and took the first half uh, minus uh, a half. All right. That means they got to be winning. They got to be winning. Okay. Um, And you can look at uh, maybe a stolen base for Ronald Acuna. He's just been that good. So uh, a stolen base for Ronald Acuna, you'll probably get that at a plus 200, plus 250 or something like that. All right. Um, Yeah. Couldn't talk you off the over in that one either. All right. Um, what else we got here? Um, St. Louis Cardinals at Milwaukee Brewers here. I had something for this. I didn't even put it down though, man. I had to go back and look and see something. See, I totally forgot and I'm not going to waste you guys time here. Um, it's probably, uh, oh, you know, I was looking at, um, 
I was looking at uh that's what I was looking at um What's his name? Yellick. I was looking at Yellick's in this spot here. Uh, but I get a pitch and lean towards uh, the Milwaukee Brewers in this one here. I, I have to go back and look. I got to go back and look because I might want to take some type of strikeout prop here. I'm going to see. Washington Nationals at Colorado Rockies. They did me dirty uh, yesterday. Um, one of my batters didn't get a hit from this game, I want to say. Was it? Who was it? Uh, uh, damn. All right. Either way it goes. We got Gore on the mound. We got Urena on the mound. And we're in chorus, like, look, I'm going to sprinkle something on the over again here. I just can't back another one, neither one of these pitchers. Uh, I'm, and then on top of that, uh, definitely I'm looking at uh, bats here. So let's see. Um, Gore. I'm definitely going to be looking at CJ Cron, okay? Uh, Chris Bryant, okay? Uh, those are my two top two bats right there, okay? Um, Toronto Blue Jays at Los Angeles Angels here. Don't have much for this game here. Bassett on the mound. Sandoval on the mound here. And uh, Bassett, Bassett, that's the one who went out there and got his ass toe up last game. Um, he uh, versus St. Louis. Uh, three innings pitched, 10 hits, nine earned runs here in this spot here. Um, you can look at Trout. This is my favorite bat here. Uh, didn't pick a side in this one here. Over under nine. Didn't pick a side in this one here. Sandoval, you know, Sandoval, he's an okay pitcher here. But, you know, I didn't pick a side in this one here. You could definitely look at somebody like uh, like Trout today, all right? So Trout might be that guy, okay? He's my favorite bat. Um, Los Angeles Dodgers at um, Arizona Diamondbacks and over under nine in this spot. We got Kershaw on the mound, Bumgarner on the mound. Give me them Dodgers, man. It looked like a Mookie night for me. Uh, couldn't talk you off. Uh, my favorite two bats here is probably going to be Mookie and uh, these righties. It's gonna probably going to be Mookie and uh, Mookie and uh, Will Smith here. And you could probably look for uh, Freddie Freeman to stay hot right now. Uh, well, he's got the he hit that home run last night. Shout out to Freddie, but you know you, you could probably look at him to stay hot though. So uh, Kershaw could talk you off his case here. Uh, what did I have down here? I have uh, a Kershaw five strikeouts in the win. I got that at a minus one eighteen. Uh, but you can ladder that up. Uh, this, I think this was the same matchup. Uh, the same matchup from last game here. Uh, the same matchup from last game pitching matchup. So I think he went out there and had nine strikeouts. So uh, you know it is what it is with that situation. So, um, yeah, six innings pitch, four hits, nine strikeouts, one on a run, all right? So, there you have that. Another bat on the other side you can look at is uh, he has he has a re re really nice history versus uh, um, um, Kershaw, Christian Walker. He's eight for 28. Uh, Four extra base hits, four home runs, okay? So, uh, Christian Walker, uh, my favorite bats here would probably be Mookie Betts, Christian Walker, um, and then uh, Will Smith. And I couldn't talk you off you uh, sprinkling in a little uh, Freddie Freeman just to see if he's still hot from, 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 from last night. But uh, uh, Mookie Betts got, how many? I think he got four home runs versus this guy. He's got two, all right? He's five for 15 with two home runs versus him. All right, um, that just about sums it up, man. Take what you like, leave what you don't. Uh, it is what it is, guys. Peace.